Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We've been reporting on a series of violent incidents at schools in Santa Rosa, and now a troubling new discovery. Police say a teenager has been manufacturing firearms in his own home. And Makovic is following that story and our other news headlines. And Dell is a Santa Rosa teenager is in jail today, accused of printing components for what are called ghost guns. Santa Rosa police say they raided his house yesterday while he was in class at Montgomery High School. They say they found a 3D printer along with the parts he'd already printed illegally, included including a completed handle and ammunition, as well as gang items. Detectives went to the school and arrested him after class. This is just the latest incident involving a weapon among students in Santa Rosa. Last year, there were multiple stabbings on campus, including one in March of last year that killed 16-year-old Jaden Pienta. From CBS News Bay Area, this is the Evening Edition. We begin in Santa Rosa, where a high school student now facing charges for allegedly making guns using a 3D printer. Good evening, I'm Ryan Yamamoto. It's yet another concern for parents and students in the city, which has seen a disturbing number of violent attacks over the last year, including a deadly stabbing inside a classroom. The Santa Rosa Police Department says the number of minors arrested for gun possession jumped 500% from 2022 to 2023. Our Jose Martinez spoke to several parents who hope to put a stop to the violence. I'm here at Montgomery High School in Santa Rosa where parents are reacting to a growing concern about school safety. They're telling me it's time to bring back the school resource officers to the campus. Melissa Stewart is a longtime Santa Rosa resident. Her number one concern right now is her children's safety at school. The tipping point was realizing that there was not safety protocols in place that we felt like the school district should have implemented. That tipping point pushed her to create a parents group called the Safe Campus Alliance. On Thursday, she met with other members to say enough is enough. Just a day after a 14-year-old student was arrested for allegedly manufacturing firearms using a 3D printer. It's what's happening in Sonoma County. It's what's happening in a lot of cities. Um, so again, it's not just a Montgomery High School issue. It's um, ghost guns are a real thing. You know, there's adults and teenagers that are printing these and getting them on our city street. Melissa says there needs to be a more aggressive approach to keep students safe. I keep thinking we can do better. I know we can do better. So that's what keeps us going. We believe all students should feel safe at school and they don't right now. Just like Rebecca Sullivan, she works as a health technician at Montgomery High School where her 16 year old daughter attends. I think about that every day. Like if I wasn't there and my daughter was in a lockdown or a, an, another stabbing happened or God forbid a shooting happened, you know, I, I can't imagine, I would never forgive myself if I just quit right now and left my daughter there on her own to deal with it. Rebecca, who's also a member of the Alliance, says it's time to bring back the school resource officers to the campus. We saw how easy it was for to bring an SRO back on campus. Our, our district did that overnight after last year. And, um, and it was a good, a good thing on our campus. And we saw the the reaction that our students had to having an SRO. They were grateful. And Melissa agrees. She says students deserve to return to a normal life. They're facing the issues, but they also want to move on with their lives. And they want to know that they can come to school and not be in fear of a lockdown or an active shooter or weapons or gangs. And they all agree on one thing. Something needs to be done as soon as possible to avoid another tragedy. Now, the school district declined to comment on that arrest, saying it had nothing to do with anything the student did at the school itself.